Hello and welcome to Brian's Guide Game. I am Brian. Today I got a game called Strawberry Ninja. Strawberry Ninja is a one to four player cooperative game by Chris Castagneto and published by Strawberry Studios. In this game, the Strawberry Ninja is running amok in the Strawberry Patch and it's up to the players to catch him. On their turn, players move and flip over cards, attempting to find him. Once they do, they must move the ninja close enough to get the cat to pounce. The trick is, the players don't get to move the cat. After all, cats do whatever they want. If after 12 turns the players are unsuccessful, the Strawberry Ninja escapes and enjoys his spoils. So, let's check it out, and I'll show you which card to flip, how the cat moves, and how to catch the Strawberry Ninja in Strawberry Ninja. Set up, take the Strawberry Field cards, and deal out 10. Then add the Strawberry Ninja card face down. Then you shuffle these. Okay, then lay these cards in a 4x3 grid, leaving one space empty. It doesn't matter which one's empty, so let's say it's that one. Then take the kitty and put it on any face down card. And start the kitty here. It also doesn't matter where the kitty starts. Then take these uh, kitty movement cards, shuffle them, and place them to the side. Then take the round tracker and put it on the other side. And put that on the one. You are now ready to begin. The player who most recently ate a strawberry starts. Okay, so on your turn, you move a card and then you move into you move a card into an empty space. Then you move a second card into that space and flip it over. If it has text, do it. So, so this is the donut. When revealed, move kitty here immediately. So we just teleported the kitty to the do donut. I think the kitty likes the donut. Then you flip the movement. Move kitty left. So then you take this cat, move it over left, one space. Then you take the round marker, and move it to the next position. Then it's the next player's turn. So they move a card and move another one. The cookie. Whenever, when revealed, shuffle the movement deck. So, take these cards, and now we don't know where the kitty is going to go. So, in here, we have left, right, up, and down. So, now it could go, potentially go left again. Then, move kitty down, and it doesn't wrap around, so they stay there. Then, we move the round marker. So, play continues, moving cards and flipping them over. You can move these cards. Oh. Um, and you can move them when the cat's on it. So if you move the card with the cat, you flip it over. Um, this is the mole card. Whenever the kitty moves here, so if they move there, you can move it to another gopher hole. Um, these ones have nothing. Uh, this one moves it back one. And then, huh, this one means you cannot move it. And then this one means you can switch two of the, the top two. And then over here in some of the ones that we took out, we have two more gophers and then this card. So play continues, uh, flipping over cards. It's not likely it's gonna be the last one. Um, moving them when you finally find the ninja. Um, it doesn't have to be the last one, like I said. Once you find it, you are moving it, trying to get the kitty to go on it. So using the stick, potentially, you know that the kitty is going to move left. So you want to try to get the ninja to the left of the kitty on that turn so it moves on to it. Now an optional action is if the, after movement, the kitty is on an unrevealed card, you may flip over that card that the kitty is on to pounce. Now, if under that card is the ninja, you win that round. Now, if it's not the ninja, you immediately lose that round. On the 12th one, the kitty has to pounce. So you flip over the card that the kitty's on. If it's the ninja, the kitty wins. If it's not the ninja, then the ninja wins. Okay, I'm going to add here for our parents' opinion. Seth, what do you think of Strawberry Ninja? I had a lot of fun with Strawberry Ninja. This is definitely a great game uh, for family gamers um, and those that play with little kids. Um, at first, I thought that it was more memory type of a game because the other games by Strawberry Studio um, had a memory element to it. Um, however, it didn't. Um, and so I actually liked it better. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, I, uh, I do enjoy the other the other games, um, but memory is not my favorite. Um, so this one does not have you know too much of a memory aspect to it, um, but it is really neat to, to try to be kind of tr controlling movement of one thing and not being be able to control the movement of the other thing. Mm -hmm. And trying to get them to land on the same spot. Yeah. So uh, components now. This is prototype print and play. Um, so we're gonna have a wooden kitty. Probably also a wooden token, like we used. The cards will be a little bit the bigger. The cards will be bigger and better quality than just our paper card, card, card stock. stock. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and of course, it's on Kickstarter right now, so who knows what some fun stretch goals might be. Yeah, it would be neat to see. <clears throat> Definitely. So, artwork. Um, I'm pretty sure that the artwork is finished. It looks great and ready for uh, Kickstarter to finish. Yeah, I think the artwork is, is definitely done. They do a really good job. Um, it's kind of a little bit different, um, not, not you know, your cartoon type, type of a thing. It's a little bit more abstract, um, and I liked it. It's got a good feel. Mm -hmm. Um, the little strawberry guy, you know, has a straw strawberry for head. Yep. Um, and then the different little cards have uh, different actions, um, things you'd find in a strawberry patch. Mm -hmm. So, artwork. Good job. Strategy, um, it's really uh, luck which cards you move, but I guess uh, to get it closer to the kitty. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a there's a there's a good amount of strategy. I mean, this isn't like your deep strategy game that's going to take three hours, and you know you want to play with your buddies. Um, but there's just enough here for kids, and I think this is where it really does a, a, an excellent job um, teaching kids um, strategy. And as I've played it um, with them, I've, I can kind of watch the cogs moving um, because I, you're right. You're you're guessing where it is. There's eleven cards, but once you find it, you got to get it over there. Right, um, and the ones that you pick, you know, that's the movement, um, and so you kind of want to keep him, you know, close to the cat, um, even when you don't know where it is. You kind of want to uh, keep the unknown cards close to the cat. Right, so there is there is some good strategy there, um, and then and then also there's a fair amount of luck. Like the cat could move in a complete different direction. You could have the ninja it, right here, and, and he moves the other way. <laughs> and then I really like the cards too because like. Uh, if you're paying attention, I mean, there's only four movement cards. So sometimes uh, there's a, you know, like, oh, it's, he's going to go down or to the right. Um, but then you flip over the card that says shuffle the movement cards. And uh, now what are we going to do? Now we don't know for certain, right? Um, and then there's the moles that are kind of cool. Mm -hmm. um, you may move the kitty. Yeah. Just so, the mole so I think this is the, the right amount of strategy for playing with families and, kid, and young kids. Mm -hmm. They did a good job controlling the strategy. Um, overall, really just great game, uh, good components, good artwork, strategy, easy for kids. Uh, really hope it funds, and uh, good luck on Strawberry Studios. Yeah, uh, the, the times that I've you know played it with, with the little ones, the, it says you need, it's kind of best two out of three, right? If, if you win two or, the, or if this, the game wins two, mm -hmm. then it's over. But inevitably, they want to keep playing. It doesn't matter you know, if they win or lose. Um, Just keep it, doing it. it. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um, so we definitely like this one. Um, Strawberry Ninja by Strawberry Studio. Go check it out. Uh, back it on Kickstarter. Thank you for watching. Brian's Got Game. Like us on our Facebook page. Send us a tweet at Brian's Got Game. Visit our webpage, Brian's Got Game.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Brian. I'm my dad. See you next time.